Hello, my name is Anubhav Swami and I'm Security Solutions Architect at Cisco Systems. In this presentation, I will give you an introduction to Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native. Before we talk about SFCN, let me talk about current challenges. Current challenges with traditional architecture is scalability. How exactly you will scale up and scale down when there is no requirement for additional resources. Config management, monitoring, and automation are the biggest challenges today. And when we speak to our customers, they, we see that there is a lot of demand for scalable and elastic architecture that is programmable and that provides resiliency. Unless you have these uh, capabilities been built into the product, your solution can become expensive, difficult to manage, difficult to integrate, error prone, and complex. In order to answer all these questions, we have created Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native for AWS. In our recent release, we have added this solution for Amazon Web Services and it runs on EKS cluster. So you will have your containerized firewall and these firewalls are scalable. It uses horizontal pod auto scaler. It can scale up and down as and when required. This architecture is a modular architecture. Uh, that, that means that you, you can have L4 capabilities that we have recently added in our uh, Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native portfolio. And in the upcoming releases, we will be adding CNTDs. Uh, CNTD will provide you L7 security. The entire architecture is orchestrated by Kubernetes and um, instead of building up your own cluster, uh, you will be using Amazon EKS. This architecture is DevOps friendly. We provide you uh, CRDs and Helm chart for making your deployment easy. And we have also created a quick start that will let you deploy entire infrastructure pretty quickly with, with click of mouse. Now on the config management side, we provide you uh, config management using um, native Kubernetes RESTful APIs. You can write your YAML file, push your configuration to uh, CNFW cluster, or if you want to manage this cluster using CDO, which is our uh, cloud offer to manage devices and no, and it is known as Cisco Defense Orchestrator, you can onboard your cluster into CDO as well. Now for data externalization, what we have done in this architecture is the moment you see a new VPN session connected to CNFW, we copy that information to a Redis database that uses AWS Elastic Cache. And next time, uh, or any uh, next time if that user will connect or if anything happens to the CNFW where that user is connected, we, we auto heal that CNFW and provide us stateless services. This complete architecture is multi-region, multi-region, uh, multi multi-AZ and multi-tenant aware. For licensing, we provide BYOL. In this architecture, we use uh, Cisco Secure Firewall Cloud Native Redirector um, that provides a smart way of load balancing our VPN users. So with the traditional Route 53 method, you can only load balance traffic based on weighted average, but with this uh, architecture, you can load balance traffic based on a number of VPN uh, sessions on uh, a CNFW. Now let me double click on this architecture. This architecture has um, three major components. I'll start with uh, control point. Uh, and control point is responsible for config management, license control, and uh, adding routes in your base infrastructure. So whenever a new device is added to your infrastructure, uh, route for the VPN pool on that uh, enforcement point is automatically added by uh, route and utility controller. Then we have enforcement point that handles your data. 
here and it is in the data plane so consider these uh, containers as your containerized firewalls uh, that are being managed by uh, EKS cluster now in terms of automation uh, or auto scale we use a horizontal pod auto scaler that can use custom metrics operator to auto scale we have integration with load balancers as well I talked about redirector uh, in the previous slide but just to give you some idea if your plan is to load balance traffic based on number of VPN sessions uh, you can use redirector that is coupled with elastic cache and in elastic cache we share our VPN session information in terms of uh, management you can use kubectl plus yaml to uh, orchestrate configuration on your SFCN cluster and it uses Kubernetes primary APIs coupled with SFC and CRDs that we will that we, we provide with this architecture and if you are into UI management once your cluster is created you can onboard that cluster into your uh, Cisco defense orchestrator for management and monitoring with this with with this I have reached at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching